For most gamers, the Xbox wireless headset is more than enough. It sounds pretty good, and the microphone quality is surprisingly good considering that it's only about $100. But what if you're a premium gamer? Well, for you, we've got the Bang and Olufsen Portal. This, my friends, oh, hold on, let's not open it too early. I don't wanna get ahead of ourselves here. This is a wireless gaming headphone, not a headset, which doesn't mean, of course, that it doesn't have a microphone. It boasts crystal clear communication with its virtual boom arm. What is a virtual boom arm? And boasts an immersive soundscape and lasting comfort and I have no reason to disbelieve them because Bang & Olufsen has, uh, so to say, been around, if you know what I mean. They're an almost 100-year-old company. Ooh, I do like the design. That does look a little more premium than the Xbox Wireless Hat. It weighs like nothing. That is both good and also a little disconcerting. I mean, Brandon, when you pick up like a premium pair of headphones, you expect it to kind of have some heft to it, right? Yeah. There's no heft. It's like, uh, it's more in line with like a Bose Quiet Comfort, like a travel headphone than something that I would expect to be like an everyday sit and wear this thing for six hours at a time while I'm vegetating in front of my television headphone. 282 grams, you say? And this must be vegan leather or something. Nope. Yay, vegan leather. No, it's uh, it lambskin. Lambskin leather, and then this is veal skin? No, calfskin. Calfskin, oh. but that's the same thing, isn't it? That's so much worse. That's sure. I mean, veal just means baby cow, and calf means baby cow, so I'm calling it veal skin. You've got a USB Type-C charging cable. This is a wireless headset, <clears throat> excuse me, headphone, the microphone. And then you've also got a three and a half millimeter adapter if you still own any ancient technology that still connects with one of those, like my phone. Oh man, I feel like we have to go right back to materials choice now because I gotta put this thing on and see how it feels at least. Like I, the reason I said that I thought it was vegan leather was because it feels a little like crisp. But I think a lot of that is to do with how kind of stiff the memory foam is. And I don't mean stiff in a bad way. I mean that it rebounds really quickly. Okay. It's an over the ear cup design. So I have kind of, I'd say medium sized ears and they fit reasonably comfortably, but it does press my earrings into my neck a little bit. So if you wear earrings, then it might be a factor for you, but not if you just wear studs. And I'd say, I would describe this as an above average clamp strength. So a lot of the weight is being borne by the clamping against your head as opposed to by the headband, which is probably a good thing because you can actually see, particularly in the middle here, there's not a lot of padding there. They're going for more like a, a four point contact system with the two ear cups and then these kind of um, straight portions of the headband here. The fact that they're so light definitely contributes to above average on ear comfort though. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. PIA is a VPN, which means it allows you to access services and websites as though you were in a different country. It encrypts all of your internet traffic and uses a safe, protected IP, and allows you to connect up to 10 devices with a single account with clients for Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and Linux. So don't wait, buy a one-year subscription for $39.95 at the link down below. Compatibility, wired, Bluetooth, and wireless with Xbox and PC. So you've got your game audio and voice chat mix right here on the left ear cup. That's just like the Xbox first party one. You've got a pairing button right here. This is truly an Xbox first, everything else second headset. A volume rocker right over here on the right ear cup. Power as well as Bluetooth pairing. So it's a separate pairing button, your three and a half millimeter jack and your USB type C. So just, oh, it's a one press to turn on. That's unusual. So I'm gonna hold the pair button and we're flashing. There we go. Hey, headset assigned, look at that, just like that. Dolby Access, Dolby Atmos for headphones is ready to use. Ah, that's something to keep in mind. So if you wanna use these on your phone and you want the full functionality, there is actually an app that you are going to need to download that is a paid app. It's the BioPlay Portal app and you can use it to fine tune the audio. So I guess I just like have to buy that now? Sorry, the active noise cancellation on these is actually pretty darn decent. That's one thing that I didn't talk about on the outside here. So you've got one, two, there you go, three, four microphone ports that are on the outside of the headphones. That 
is how Bang & Olufsen is achieving two things. One, active noise cancellation, so you don't have to listen to you know, your mom calling you for, for dinner or whatever. And number two is what they're calling their virtual boom mic. So you can see there's no actual boom arm, but by tuning these microphones so that their pickup patterns are kind of aimed in front of your mouth, the theory is that they can sound really great even though they're not actually right next to you. Hey, um, did you want to get going now? Okay, cool. Uh, just had a quick question for you though. H how's the how's the sound quality of what I'm saying right now? Like, would you describe it as average, above average, below average? Above average. Five hundred dollar average. Okay. Uh, what if I said it cost five hundred dollars for it to sound this good? Okay. She says it's unnecessary, so she doesn't she doesn't feel like she deserves this kind of <laughs> rich vocal quality. But um, you know what, hun? You do. You deserve this and more. We got some fancy touch controls here. So you double tap on the right or left side to play and pause, but that's Bluetooth only. You swipe the right side for volume. There's a touch bar here apparently. Hello? It's not a rocker. I said this was a rocker switch and it's totally not. How would you not mash that every time you take these off? I mean, I guess you get in the habit of just grabbing the cups. Uh, okay, swipe the touch bar for volume. Swipe the left to switch between active noise cancellation and transparency for Bluetooth only. And swipe the left to adjust between game and chat balance for Xbox only. Double tap left or right. Double tap right or left to mute or unmute. Oh my God, why is everything a double tap? You will see a red status LED when you're muted. Where? How do you see it? Okay. Well, someone will see it. The ANC is very strong. There's a little bit of buzz, a little bit of pressure. It's not the worst that I felt in terms of like on-ear pressure from active noise cancellation, but there is more buzz than I would like. I would probably leave it in kind of the medium-ish setting. I mean, yeah, they sound a lot better than the first party Xbox one. And even with the active noise cancellation, like barely on, it's like halfway, I think. I cannot hear anything you guys are saying right now and I don't even have it cranked up that high. Okay, let's try this touch sensitive volume control. Okay. Fine control actually a lot easier than I thought it would be with that. And then I think I just switched it to chat balance because the game is a little bit quieter. Yeah, there we go. So let's go all game. Oh, oh, it's telling me it's maxed out. Oh, that's very unpleasant. It has kind of like a Bup, 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 bup sound that it makes, but it also cuts out your audio. So it can make a sound, but don't cut out the in-game audio when I like max out a dial. Oh yeah, we have Dolby Access already. I am not that impressed with Dolby for headphones then. This definitely redeems the Bang & Olufsen app though, because it's not them charging you extra, it's that Dolby Access costs extra. That is an Xbox thing. And I, I do wish that Microsoft would just find it in their hearts to include that. But yeah, that's not on Bang & Olufsen then. I gotta face this so that the directional sound is right. Okay, with me oriented correctly, it does sound a lot better, but this is a game that has just really good surround sound support. Like it is so much more immersive with good surround sound. And even compared to like an affordable 5.1 soundbar setup, like the one that we've got in the living room set behind me, it's just, it's not there. And that costs a fraction of what this does if you have the space for it. I find the clamping force a little tighter than is my preference already. And I do prefer a larger ear cup personally, like a more oval shaped ear cup but I can understand if for style reasons, they might've gone with you know a more round uh, minimalistic design here. In a world where very, very excellent headphones exist, like the Mastrop Pandas, it's so hard to recommend something like this. But the flip side of it is the Mastrop Pandas do not have integrated support for things like Xboxes, chat, in-game volume mixing, and they do not have an Xbox pairing button so that they can work wirelessly with the Xbox. So in a world where only the $100 option and the $500 option exist, this is clearly better than this, but I don't know if I would describe it as five times better. Thanks for checking out Short Circuit. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our future ones.